So this weekend I was watching a couple of movies. And this one particular movie that I watched, this woman told her daughter to go to her boyfriend and fulfill her duties to her boyfriend. And I'm sitting here like, she don't have no duties as a girlfriend. But the daughter proceeded to go to her boyfriend and sleep with him. And I'm sitting up here like, I know this woman did not just tell her daughter to fulfill her duties. She don't have no duties. When you are married to someone, then you have wifely duties, husbandly duties. But you don't have girlfriendly duties or boyfriendly duties. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lord. I said duties. <laughs> okay, come back. Anyway, the point is, there are no duties when you are a girlfriend or a boyfriend. And see, this is what really bothers me because here in society now, it's believed to be okay for a woman and a guy to sleep together even when they're not married. Biblically, that is not right. And it's just so crazy how people are okay with that. See, what I know is that older women are to pass down wisdom to younger women. And I truly feel right now that younger women, and there may even be some older women that just don't have the wisdom to know that if you boyfriending up or you shacking up with somebody, you don't have no duties to that person simply because that is not your husband. You are not his wife. It is not honorable for women to sleep with a guy just because. If you are not married, you are to refrain from having sex with anyone. Trust me, it is possible to do that. It is possible to do that. I'm not perfect, but I try to be. Because I try to be pleasing to God. And he doesn't expect me to be perfect. But I really want to be pleasing to God. Even though I am, he accepts me how I am. He loves me the way I am. But still, my goal and my desire is to always please the Lord. So what that means to me is when he says something and there is something placed in the Bible that says that we are not supposed to do this or we are supposed to do that, then we need to abide by that. And I'm upset because the world... And society has made it okay for us to go against God's laws. You women are giving yourself away when you are sleeping with a man that is not your husband. Why would you lower yourself and your standards and give yourself away to a man that has not committed to you? He hasn't vowed to be with you. He just said, oh, I like you. Let's jump in the bed. What kind of sense does that make? I still don't get that part. And I will not get that part. Let me tell you, I have made mistakes myself, but I learned from my mistakes. I learned. I was married for 15 years. And even when I was separated from the man that I was married to, I prayed and I thought fasted because I wanted to make sure that my marriage lasted but I also wanted to make sure that I stayed faithful through it all even though he wasn't faithful I was and I, I have friends telling me you know just go on a date just go talk to mm, nah I'm still married nah and then when it really, really, really got to the point where I just knew we were done because of him, 
then here I am still celibate until God places a man in my life that will be my husband. Trust me when I tell you, I ain't sleeping with nobody that ain't put no ring on it. And I don't like to quote people's songs, but uh, excuse me, you don't have a ring on this? You don't get none of this? I'm not giving away no free milk, huh? No. We as Christ followers need to set ourselves apart from the rest of the world. Women, you are gifts to a man. We are gifts. Our bodies are a gift. So don't freely give your gifting away to someone who has not committed to be with you in marriage. That certificate is important by all means. I'm here to be all in your face and tell you if you ain't married and you out there sleeping with folk, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. And you will pay for that because judgment day, everyone will see. So as a wise woman, I try to pass down knowledge and wisdom to other people, to women, ladies, Treat yourself as the gift that you are to a man. Do not sell yourself short. Don't sell yourself short. Raise up your standards. Keep your morals high. And that way you will get the man that God has for you. You will be honorable. You will be a blessing to that man because you stayed honorable in God's sight. That's all I got to say.